Cedric Schweitzer uh, will share his experience of uh, one year clinical result with Slam. One, month. Huh? one, month. one month, so sorry, I am always optimist, so please. <laughs> Thank you very much. So I'm going to present you our first experience with uh, this new IOL mm -hmm. that has been designed to improve uh, stability within the bag. Yeah. So we all know current re requirements uh, for IOL within the bag. Um, it includes biomaterial properties with a fast bioadhesivity to the posterior capsule, a glistening free, rotational stability within the bag, foldable and preloaded and about optical properties, a wide range of IOL power and reproducibility of visual and refractive results. This is uh, our first implantation. So you, you, so you will see that the, the IOL will be uh, fastly delivered within the bag. Um, this IOL has been designed with very unique haptics, with the outer haptics um, are the, the outer haptic is supposed to absorb compression forces and the inner haptics uh, is supposed to maintain the centration of the IOL, the optic within the bag. And uh, as you can see, it's fastly delivered within, within the bag. I would recommend to improve the horizontal delivery of the IOL within the bag to rotate from the left to the right uh, during the implantation. So we performed a prospective pilot study in, in our department. We started in, in August when it was uh, available in France. Uh, at our university hospital, we consecutively in included patients with a cataract. Uh, and we followed them at three days and one month after surgery. Uh, we recorded all uh, surgery and uh, surgical time and unfolding time. And here are our results. So we included 11 patients, the mean age is 73 year old, so that was true cataract. Um, the mean preoperative uncorrected and best corrective visual acuity was low, and we included uh, the preoperative absolute refractive error range between 0 to 8.5 diopters, so a quite wide range of uh, 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 refractive errors. So the total intraoperative surgical time was roughly uh, 7 to 8 minutes. And the IOL positioning and unfolding time was uh, approximately 25 seconds. We did not observe any inappropriate IOL folding within the injector, and we did not record any intraoperative complications. So we all know how glistening is important. We published several papers on that topic, and we uh, could observe uh, that it can impair the quality of vision and even visual acuity in the long term for most severe cases, as you can see here. And in our study, uh, we did not observe any microvacuoles within the, uh, within the optic. Uh, we hopefully, we did not observe any cases of posterior capsule opacification. And we evaluated rotational stability between day three and one month's visit using slit lamp photography here. And we observed very low uh, rotation in one month below three degrees, so very stable uh, IOL within the bag. We also evaluated tilt and decentration using a swept source anterior segment to CT. Um, it enables a fast um, imaging of the entire structure of the eye and uh, an automatic segmentation of the cornea, the iris, and, the, uh, and the, of the optics. And we measured tilt and decentration on two axes, horizontal and vertical axis. And we observe, again, a very low uh, tilt, horizontal and vertical tilt, uh, approximately three deg uh, degrees, and the decentration uh, roughly around seven, uh, 70 microns, not more. We observe a good, uh, good postoperative best corrected visual acuity, and the mean absolute error uh, after surgery was uh, 0 0.22 diopters. Finally, we carried out optical aberration measurements using ray tracing technology that enables measurements of total uh, ocular aberrations and uh, corneal and internal aberrations. And again, we observed very, very low 
high order aberrations in our study with very low spherical and chromatic aberrations, the latter being supposed to be more related to tilt or decentration of the, of the IOL. So to conclude, uh, the rare one hydrophobic IOL fulfill all re current IOL requirements for cataract surgery. The unfolding and de delivery time is very short. We observe excellent visual refractive and aberrometry measurement outcome with an excellent uh, rotational stability within the bag in the perspective of toric or multifocal IOL. And obviously we need to compare this IOL with others, but it seems to compare very favorably. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Cedric. So uh, in, in, in your experience, uh, you uh, one more time, you, you feel really confident in the implantation of the lens and you do not have uh, no uh, side effect when, when, because you know, when, when you face a new IOL, there is something, something mm -hmm. always that is slightly different and that uh, can be uh, and needed to be managed. Did you have any difficulties or what is uh, your opinion about that? Because finally, is, uh, this is the most important judgment mm -hmm. about the liars. No, uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, the preloaded IOL is very, very nice, very fast and unfolding. Uh, the time is very short. Uh, the nozzle tip, uh, you can insert it very easily through a 2.2 millimeter. Uh, and sometimes you can observe with this kind of haptics, uh, some, some may stick on yeah. each other, and it's not the case because yeah. it's related to the, yeah. rotation, uh, the folding within the injector. So it's very easy. Um, I do not have anything to, to add. It's very, very fast, 25 seconds in our, in our study. It was very fast. I would just recommend when you insert uh, the IOL to improve horizontal implantation to rotate from the left to the, to the right, mm -hmm. just to be sure uh, yeah. it will be so within the so bag in easy. one time. Thomas, any other comment from your side about uh, this IOL? No, I'm, I'm well, maybe always a comment, but, but I think, you know, from, as I said, First implantations, pretty good, mm. and this is uh, is a good sign. Yeah. What? It's very reproducible. Yes, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.